Hi everybody, it's Connie Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com. I'm so glad you guys could stop by because I've got a brand new simple stamping video today. Today we're gonna tackle maybe a question you've had, to color or not to color. Now, some of us, like myself, are not big into coloring. Not my thing. I would rather just have solid image stamps that I stamp, great colors, and I'm done. But I have discovered one of Stampin' Up's great stamp sets called the Artisan Textures Stamp Set. And with this stamp set, I've been able to color a lot of my outline stamps, and I don't have to color them in because I can use that stamp to take care of it. Are you curious to know what I'm talking about? <laughs> All right, let's head over to my stamping table and let me show you what I mean. The Artisan Texture Stamp Set has got to be one of my most used and most loved stamp sets, and probably this stamp in particular. Why? Because I'm not a big fan of coloring. Sometimes I am just looking to make a card quick, and I have found that this simple stamp is going to change the way I stamp and the way I color because it takes care of all of it for me. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All of my cards today are going to be flash cards. So my Whisper White piece today is two and a half by four inches. I'm gonna bring in a Seaside Spray ink pad and I'm going to ink up that kind of big blob of a stamp, okay? Now this is going to be very dark. So I do wanna stamp off once and stamp off twice because I want to, you see I get that lighter color. Let me show you what it looks like if we stamp the third time. That's a little light for me. So before I use this technique, I always decide, do I want first, second generation, second generation, or third? And I think second generation is the right one. So I'm gonna stamp once, and then second generation on my cardstock. And you see I get a nice light image, right? Now for my focal image, I'm going to use the free as a bird stamp set. We're gonna make a simple thank you card. So I've got both of my stamps there on my block. I've got a soft suede ink pad. Let's ink up our bird and our sentiment. And we're just going to stamp that right over that uh, soft, or the seaside spray. Do you see, it's like my bird's already colored. Now I'm not gonna lie, he at least needs a little orange beak. So I'm gonna do just a tiny bit of coloring, but you can see what that little bit of a dark pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend did. Now, if you don't have the Stampin' Blends, your markers are going to work just fine. I can now layer my bird on a piece of Seaside Spray that is cut two and three quarters by four and a quarter. I can layer that together. I am a huge fan of note cards and envelopes. I love these because you get 20 note cards already scored, ready to go, and the matching envelope. So everything you need to make 20 cards ready to go. I can take that focal image and I want you to notice that as far as flashcards go, they fit perfectly on my note cards. Now let me bring in my other sample, you notice that I added some of the Seaside Spray um, ribbon, just a little ribbon knot, it kind of dressed it up. But what I want you to see is I did just a little bit of coloring to make my bird pop. Let me show you how to do that. I'm going to come in with the Dark Seaside Spray uh, Stampin' Blend. And guys, I am simply going to color the wing and the tail and a little bit of the head. Do you see what a difference that makes? Now my bird kind of has a little more pop, but I allowed that artisan texture stamp to really be the focal image. Let's do another card. For this card, I'm going to use the Floral Essence stamp set. We've got a great sentiment and a flower here, and I'm gonna be focusing on the Rococo Rose color, beautiful new in color. So let's bring in my artisan texture stamp, Remember, we are going to test the color. So first generation, second generation, third generation. Definitely on this one, it will be second generation. You may be going, well, Connie, isn't it always going to be second generation? No, actually it is not. The darker the color, uh, the more generation you may need to go. So we'll stamp that right there. I'm going to come in with a soft suede ink pad. I'm going to ink up my flower and my sentiment we're going to adhere that right on top and let's see what we've got. 
that is gorgeous. Now, actually, uh, this stamp set in particular does have a little center for my flower. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Now, beautiful, just like that, but let me show you the coloring technique if you wanna step it up. All right, so on this card, I did a little coloring with the Rococo Rose um, Stampin' Blends. Now, you may be going, well, you kinda covered up a lot of the texture. But wouldn't you agree that little bit of texture peeking out really does make a big difference? And I just used the light and the dark and colored it in. And there we go with a little Rococo Rose ribbon. So simple or stepped up. It's really a great card. Let's do another. All right, we're going to create a fall card and we're going to use the Gather Together stamp set because this leaf was perfect for this technique. All right, we're gonna use Rich Razzleberry for our leaf. Ooh, now this is one that's gonna be dark. So this is where I said it might be third or fourth generation. So like we always do, we're gonna test. Ready? One, two, that's still pretty dark. Three, that's looking good. What does four look like? Let's see right there on the end. You know what? I think four works for me. So we're gonna ink up our stamp and we'll go one, two, three, and our fourth one will go right there on our card side. Do you see what a difference it is when you use a dark color? All right, now with an early espresso ink pad, let's ink up our leaf and our sentiment, both from that Gather Together stamp set. And we will stamp that right there and let's see what we got i really like that all right let's go ahead and do the little extra coloring <clears throat> i've got my light and dark stamp and blends i'm going to start with the dark and what i'm going to do is i'm literally just going to draw along all of the lines in the leaf as you do this just so you know neatness doesn't count because when it when we're working with stamp and blends we're going to blend this ink. We don't have to worry about, you know, perfect lines. Did I get it straight, crooked? So let me get the last, there we go. The last of all my little lines. Now we'll come in with the light and I'm just going to swirl. By the way, you'll notice I'm using the fat tip now because I'm trying to cover a lot of area. And it's just going to pick up the alcohol that's in the dark blend and it's going to blend it together. Can you see the other, the other rich raspberry coming out from underneath it? All right, we're gonna shake things up. Let me come in with the light mossy meadow. I'm gonna use that brush tip and I'm just gonna swirl over my sentiment and you know what, let's get this little bit of stem and for this one, I'm going to layer it on a very vanilla note card. And yes, I've got my matching envelope. So I'll bring in my two different versions there. Here, I just let the Artisan Texture stamp be the star. I added a little terracotta tile ribbon to this one as well. Okay. All right, we're gonna do one last card. Are you staying with me? I hope so. Let's do a holiday card. All right, Christmas card time. Let's use the Christmas uh, Gleaming stamp set. We're gonna use the holly and deck the halls with boughs of holly. So we're gonna start, as we do, with our artisan textures. Now, I've got a garden green ink pad, and remember what we learned about the dark colors. So let's see, one, two, three. Mm, I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go with two on this one. I'll go second generation. So I'll stamp off what's stamp here on my cardstock. I've got my holly leaves and my sentiment. Let's ink that up in our tuxedo black ink and stamp that right over it. Really nice, but I'm sorry, holly berries cannot be green. For the holly berries, you can either use the dark poppy parade or the dark real red, whichever one. I think I'll use the poppy parade. And we are just going to color right over Look at that, see how that red pops? And guys, you can also, like I said, you could do this with your Stampin' Write markers as well, but you notice, look how dark it gets over that green. But that red still pops, still shows nicely. I'll layer that on a piece of real red cardstock. 
Look at how it makes that pop, uh, that green, that garden green really pops that way. And let me bring in my other version because I did something very different. I stamped with crushed curry for my background. I just thought that really nice burst um, of that gold color really lent itself nicely. I did some coloring. And that was done with the shaded spruce, light and dark Stampin' Blends. But you see how those really pop off of there. But either way, whether you need to keep it simple or you want to step it up, look at that lovely little uh, uh, garden green ribbon. I thought that looked gorgeous on it as well. There we have it, guys. That's a lot of different cards. One simple stamp from the Artisan Texture stamp set, and just look what we were able to create. Guys, if you were to look through your stash of stamps, you probably will find a lot of things that can go right over that stamp. So whether you like to color or you don't like to color, the Artisan stamp set is gonna have you covered. There we go, four seasons, four different cards, so you get to choose, do you want to color? or do you not want to color? Either way, even if you're not a fan of coloring, that Artisan Textures sure gives a really great background to any of the stamps. And what did you think of those Stampin' Blends? I absolutely love to color again. I never liked to color until I discovered those Stampin' Blends. They are so smooth, they color so nicely. I'm a bit of an addict now when it comes to the blends. So I want to encourage you, if you have not tried Stampin' Blends, I hope today's video maybe inspired you to at least buy a light and a dark of maybe a couple different colors and give them a try. Well, if you want to learn a little more about my cards, maybe you want to see close-ups or maybe you need to catch what colors I used on that, let me tell you where you can find the information. If you'll go to simplysimplestamping.com, look for the October 12th, 2019 blog post. I'll have all the cards there, all the details, measurements, colors, everything. And if you're ready to maybe invest in those Stampin' Blends, or if you don't have that Artisan Texture stamp set, boy, this is a must have. This is a great time to get it. Just click a pick. You're gonna see my complete supply list there. Click a pick, it takes you right to my online store. You can order what you need right there. Thank you again, everybody, for being here. I sure do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the cards. If you did, would you give me a thumbs up on YouTube? I always appreciate that. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed, take a minute to click that great big red subscribe button so YouTube will let you know whenever I'm back with a new video. All right, my friends, that's it for me today on another Simple Stamping Saturday. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you guys on the next video. Have a fabulous weekend. Bye-bye.